Hey, welcome back to A Faster Me. This is the uh, bagel ride out of InCycle in Rancho Cucamonga. So this is uh, Ellen's point of view. Originally we had a PAA team ride scheduled and we we're gonna do Lytle Creek, but Lytle Creek was kind of closed and they're doing a bunch of construction and different stuff like that. So we decided to just latch on to the bagel ride and do that instead and then go back to my house for a team meeting so i think we got 11 riders out here that's all the blue blue and blue kids here two two tones of blue two shades of blue and uh a lot of the guys from pa this was uh a lot of their first times being out here so kind of fun just to ride a different course you know this is kind of far east for them coming out this way for the ride and we're just starting to uh, in cycle Benelli loop section section here on Strava and this is one of the uh, one of three hard efforts here so anyway I'm doing this recording uh, the voiceover on 4th of July so you might hear some snap crackle and pop in the background um, probably should have done it earlier before people started letting off fireworks but it's all good um, I'm home alone wife's out of town so might as well do the voiceover anyway uh, Ellen likes to take group rides kind of passive. If it's just her and I, she can hang on my wheel and go as fast as she wants to go. But in group rides, she kind of sits back a little bit. And that's Chris Mang to her left and uh, Bert in front of her. Got Dom next to Bert. And I forgot my man's name from LABC there. So passing Mr. Williams here on the right from Legion. Uh, it's good to see him out. You know, sometimes Legion will join this ride as well. Um, you know, I've been on the ride with Corey, Justin, CJ, and then a couple of the girls um, from Legion. So it's hit and miss when they're not out of town. You know, if they ride this or the, you know, the Montrose ride or whatever the case may be. So anyway, we're going up Cobblestone now. This is where the, the actual effort typically starts. Today it's kind of chill, maybe because there were some riders in, in front of us there and everybody just took the turn. Uh, the turn was a little congested. Everyone took it kind of slow and nobody wanted to attack. But usually this is a much harder effort from the beginning. And it's just an all-out effort basically around uh, around the park. And that's the map that you see up there to the left. This is uh, really beat up. If you can see the asphalt down there, that's why it's called cobblestone. It's broken up. The asphalt is broken up into a, a bunch of little stones, basically. Um, and it's just, it's uphill. You can see it's 3%, but when you're running it, running over those cobbles or whatever you wanna call this, uh, it's really hard to put power down and really taxes your legs there. That's Francisco to the right moving up. He's getting back in shape, getting strong again. <clears throat> so you can see everybody's kind of jockeying for position here. And we had a decent sized group today, maybe 30 riders, not exactly sure how many. Sometimes this, this group can get really big. And then the rider there in black, that's Alexander. He's on PAA also, he just doesn't have a kit. And then that's Joe to the left. Let's move up, uh, take a look up front and see how it's going there since Ellen's falling back a little bit. I'll see you, I'll show the front perspective from my camera. So this is from my um, perspective up at, uh, near the front. The attack starts right here when the grade goes up. The grade goes up to I think six, seven, eight percent, something like that. And <laughs> You can see we're putting down the power now and got a little acceleration here. I was a little slow on the trigger, so there's a gap opening. Not going to burn too many watts trying to close it. Just going to try to keep in touch and then see what I can do on the downhill here. Since it's summer and it's a hot day, this, this, uh, this park also has uh, raging waters on the west side of the park. So it does get a little bit of traffic um, during the summer with a lot of people just trying to go to the lake or go to the water park to cool down a little bit. So here I'm gonna save the legs. You can see the, uh, my heart rate was up almost 190. So here I'm just gonna tuck, see what I can uh, make up here. I think I get up to about 45 miles per hour at one point. And there's only three, four guys in front of me. So it's a good time to catch a break here, catch your breath.
Yeah, so you'll see I'm going to flip back and forth between my camera and Ellen's camera a couple times. We'll, we'll go to her camera and see how she made up a little ground here. And you can see the difference in speed just from us having a little bit more raw power and a little heavier. It took her a little bit longer. Like we were well over 30 miles per hour at this point, even though she gets up to her top speed just about the same as my top speed. It's just we get there a little bit faster, having a little bit more raw power. As you can see, Bert there, a little bit more raw power, a little heavier, and he just flies by her. He's up to speed faster than she was. But again, Ellen's top speed would be very close to what my top speed was. I think she topped out at 44, and I just hit 45. All right, we're going to transition back up to the front now and see how we navigate the rest of this course. That's Oliver right there to the left. Oliver is really strong. He does a lot of hard efforts and he loves pulling and setting the pace. So here I'm behind uh, Mr. Iglesias right here. Essie Velo, very strong rider as well. And yeah, we're just trying to hold on, trying to keep the pace and try to stay up front. <laughs> these rollers, after that first hard effort, these rollers really tax your leg. Also, my power data, the stats is just maybe like two seconds off. That's Montgomery Goodermont up there um, with the attack up front. I make a little mistake here. Um, I should have just sat and recovered. And <laughs> for whatever reason, I let my momentum carry me up to the front. And now I'm just eating wind. I'm not putting in a lot of watts, but you see my heart rate's pretty high. So I should have taken a second there with the rest of the guys to recover. We don't really have to worry about Montgomery too much, not because he's not strong, it's just we have numbers on him, and yeah, most likely we're gonna catch him. But I end up uh, rolling to the front, you know, catching a lot of wind, and now letting my heart spike up again to it's at 185. So obviously my legs are gonna have a little less power here now for the rest of the section, instead of just uh, taking that extra five, 10 seconds right there to recover. And I don't mean that I'm like so out of position or anything, but there's a lot of hard effort still to come. You know, what's crazy too is uh, this little section here that's just about to start right about now, um, going up to the guard shack. Like I felt dead here. I felt like I have no legs right now putting in this little effort. Um, you see, I went up to like 500 and something watts a second ago and then just putting in this little effort that's at a you know 6% grade. It's a really short effort, but I PR'd this effort without even basically sprinting it. I mean, I'm, I'm going hard, but wasn't sprinting, but that's just the beauty of riding with the group, having a little bit of an adrenaline and having a little bit of draft. And you know, you'll PR sections, uh, segments without even trying really. <laughs> and when you're riding solo, you're doing full sprints up that segment and you're a second off your time. So it's just amazing. And it's always a, you know, a good thing to keep in mind that you're going to go faster with the group. So it's always uh, just a little something to get used to. Here, Montgomery and I fall off the back a little bit. Because like I said, that effort is a hard effort. And then when you turn right, the speed picks up a lot with a little bit of downhill. So we're hitting between 28 and 31 miles per hour here and it's just hard to catch on. I, I started to go around Montgomery for a second, but then he puts in another dig here, so I drop back in. You, you know, use a little, try to save a little energy here, not go use too many watts. We're still hitting well over 300, so, you know, for me that's a pretty good effort, so I'm getting taxi the way it goes. I give a shout right here to the young man from LABC and tell him I'm the last guy so he can jump on. You know, everybody, um, everybody's, no, I can't speak for everybody, but most of us are pretty taxed right here. You'll see guys are getting red really, really fast. This is a pretty good all out effort. It's basically a 15 or so minute effort around this loop. And it's through rolling hills. Um, some of them are pretty steep. Not, not long though, none of them are long. They're just really punchy. And then in between on the flat sections, they're, they're basically all out. And this is what I was talking about through here. You got um, you got the lake to the left, and we're coming up on Raging Waters, a water park. Uh, I'm sorry, lake to the right, and Raging Waters, water park to the left. So 
Here we go again with the little accordion effect getting dropped. Got to put in another little, little bit of a hard effort here, or at least a hard acceleration. And you try to tag back onto the end of the groove. You can see I'm still pretty uh, elevated heart rate too, 183. And unless I'm full on sprinting, I top out at about 188 and about 197 or so when I'm sprinting. So that's Chris right there. It's just me and Chris left with the main group. Uh, a lot of the rest of the guys are kind of further back. Um, some of them love to climb, but they're not so fast on the flats. And some of them just don't know the route really. All of us were pretty taxed though from our day before. Um, I had sprint intervals the day before and I think some of the other guys did like a 90 something mile ride. But you know, that's life. That's just how cycling, cycling is. And everybody loves to have the fun rides on the weekend. So by the time Sunday rolls around, you're usually pretty taxed. So that's Raging Waters to the left right there. That's why those shuttle buses came by us. Um, they're shuttling um, people back and forth to the water park. And here's one of the main entrances right here that we're about to go through to the water park on the left side. So this is basically uh, right here. I end up getting dropped this little steep uphill. Um, I was in a little bit of a too heavy of a gear to start off and I just didn't have the acceleration in my legs. Um, to hang on to the pack right here. You see guys are just flying by me and it's a pretty hard effort for me, but yeah, I just was not in the right gear. It, originally not in the right gear and then I just kind of blew my legs out in the first couple pedals. So I ended up dropping off the back and have to regroup and chase back on or try to chase back on. As you can see by the map up there, we only have about, I don't know, maybe a little more than a half a mile left or something in this segment. Um, I don't even know how, I, it could be a mile left. I think the total loop is seven miles or something. So, you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty long loop and a pretty hard flat out effort. So here, obviously I'm just trying to recover. I'm still putting in a decent effort, but you know, I'm dropped a little bit. So you're always gonna go slow or solo, even though I'm putting in almost 400 watts. Um, yeah, the speed is just not gonna kick up as high. But I ended up catching the young man from LABC again here. He was just struggling a little bit once he fell off the back. Um, so we get over this hump and now we're gonna be, like I said, maybe a half mile from the um, finish. And that's gonna be pretty much my effort. The group, you know, those 15, the group of 15 or whatever what we, that we had in the main group, maybe 10 people, just go so much faster if you stay connected to the group. So if you see up there in the left in the shadows, that's my teammate, Chris. He had kind of fallen off the group also. And that's the last person I catch basically, but he stays out in front of me, puts in a little effort at the end and I just kind of shut it down. And that's pretty much the, the end of this um, segment. I think I did the segment in like 16 minutes this time or something. My fastest is only like 15.30 or something. So we were like a minute off the time. And I think most of that was just because we started off so slow on cobblestone. But it was fun, good effort. I haven't done any group riding or anything in a while and I haven't raced in a few weeks. So it was fun just to get out and kind of chase people a little bit. Chris is very strong also. He's one of those punchy riders. He's light, but he has big sprints, you know. I think he hits about 1,300 watts, maybe 1,400 on his sprints. And I believe he's only like 150 pounds or so. So really loves like, uh, he kind of really excels at like punchy, punchy explosive movements on and off. Not necessarily like the really high sustained power, but really punchy rider, good rider. So anyway, the next segment is going to be San Dimas. We're going to transition over to that. We chill in between. This is from Ellen's point of view here. Uh, I'm just going to let the sound ride on this one and uh, let you guys enjoy it.
suffering. There's a big hill coming up. I know. Uh, you been there. Let the suffering continue. Go, Marlena, go. Oh my god, I have no more gears. Me neither. Well, go on. On your left. Go get it. Oh, brutal. Yeah, so this is basically the end of the, the video here. Ooh, those fireworks are going off like crazy. <laughs> so that's Tony uh, passing Ellen right here at the end, putting in a good effort. And uh, yeah, like I said, sorry for the fireworks, 4th of July. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah.